Miss Rabbit has fainted. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Alright, so there seems to be a surprising amount of you now. And honestly, that's great. Sure, it's a little overwhelming, but it makes me so happy to see this community grow. Honestly, I used to think I would never get this far, even though I started making YouTube videos with views and such in mind. So, since I can't knight anyone in real life, I have decided to draw your OCs instead. I picked three of my subscribers' OCs to draw in order to celebrate 255 subs. It still feels unreal to say that out loud. So without any further ado, let's get to it. For our first drawing, I'm drawing a small YouTuber and animator who goes by the username YoGirlAinua. And you wanna know what's funny? I know this person in real life. In fact, we're pretty good friends. We met in therapy since the therapists sometimes do this thing where they let the kids meet and talk to each other to teach them how to socialize and stuff since it's a therapy place specifically made to help autistic kids, which we both are. We bonded because of our mutual love of making YouTube vids, Roblox, and the amazing digital circus. Nowadays, we actually talk a lot and even play games together when we have time. For this drawing, I decided to do something a little different too, with the highlights of the eyes, and you'll see me repeat the same thing in uh, other drawings. Also, looking at these drawings and comparing them to my other drawings made me realize that my art style is pretty inconsistent. Uh, if anyone knows how to deal with this problem, please let me, let me know in the comments below. And while you're on the way to the comments, subscribe to the channel. I wonder if YouTube does that thing where the subscribe button glows on my channel. Anyway, this is the final product. Now, this content creator, who goes by the name Sophos on YouTube, is actually a content creator that I really admire, and I was honored to find out that they like my content. I asked them what OC they would want me to draw, and they told me about their OC Aspen. Now I don't know what this is an OC for, but I assumed it's an OC for the QSMP, since they post QSMP content and put their OC in this Hunger Games simulator thing, along with QSMP characters and streamers, which is why I gave them a sword. I love Aspen's design, and they really seem like they would fit in a lore-heavy Minecraft SMP. I just kind of wish there was a little more contrast between the shirt and the pants, but that's my only complaint. My favorite thing about their design is definitely the leaf crown around the ponytail. I really like making thicker lines on the outside, and I honestly think it looks pretty good with this drawing. But I struggled a bit with the background, but that doesn't really show in the speed paint because I used the undo button instead of that button that just empties the layer. Because I like making my life harder. Uh, but yeah, that's the drawing of Sophos' OC, Aspen. And last but not least, I will be drawing the GatchaTuber t shirt his OC has a pretty simple design, but I still think it was pretty fun to draw. Uh, I decided to try something different for the pose, which is kinda difficult for me since I'm not very good with anatomy, but I think I managed to make it work in the end. I put the head and body in separate layers to make it easier, and then when I was happy with the pose, I combined the two layers into one. I don't draw folds in clothing usually, uh, so I kind of struggled trying to do that with the jeans, but I still think it ended up looking pretty good. Also, please don't scold me for tracing the hair. I don't know if Looney has ever said anything about tracing the gacha assets, but I'm sure it's fine, right? If 
Smokey has said anything about that, please tell me. I really don't want to trace someone when they don't want anyone tracing them. Uh, but give me a source, please, because otherwise I won't leave you. But setting that aside, here is the final drawing. And that's it! Thank you all so so much for all of the support you've given me over the years. I know you've probably heard this before from other YouTubers, but I genuinely cannot thank you enough. I really appreciate everything you've done for me, even if it's simply just watching my videos. Anyway, stay safe everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!